Hello, today we're going to take a quick look at this Topperson LED projector, kindly sent to me for review. It's got a nice style about it. This is a low cost projector with controls down the side of the unit. That's to control the menu. It's got a good range of inputs and outputs on the back and on the far left you can see the IR input because this does come with a little remote control. So if you wanted to mount it on the ceiling, you wouldn't have to access those controls on the main unit. There's a box of bits including the remote power and some input cables. So you've got almost everything you need to get this set up. It also came with this curious card which turned out to be a USB card, a four gig, just under four gig gig card and I guess that's to allow you to pop some media on and plug in for use with the projector. There's a small foot that you can retract as well as a tripod mount and you could mount this against a ceiling if you wanted to. During the day this thing is pretty much useless. You can sort of see a faint outline but it just wasn't possible to use this. You can see it's on, it's projecting, but you just can't see anything in daylight. However, wait for it to go dark and try again and you get a much better result. The picture quality is very good, nice and clear. I've got an Amazon Fire Stick plugged into this to give me access to YouTube, Netflix and co. And you do need something plugged into this because once you've got it set up, so it's got keystoning and focusing controls, there's actually no onboard streaming here. So although there's a Wi-Fi connection, that's to stream to the unit. There's no inbuilt app. So although it says movie, music, photo, text, that's to display those based on a USB stick, such as the one that they provide. So as I say, I'm using a Amazon Fire Stick. I find that to be a nice compact solution to this. Plus it's a nice smooth interface and it's got pretty much all the streaming services I use, including YouTube. And you can see in the dark, the picture looks really good. So this is a recent review video I did. So I'm very familiar with the actual things in the video and it does a good job of replicating the nice whites and the dark blacks stay black as well. They're not that washed out. So you can see the black on the text looks really good. So I was very impressed. There is a speaker built in and it also has casting options built in, but I ran into a problem with these. So I'm on Android with a OnePlus 9 Pro that has casting built in and it could detect the device once I'd got it on my Wi-Fi network. But when I tried to connect to it, nothing actually happened. So you can see it's going through the motion on the projector. You can see it says connection in progress, group created okay, and then nothing. It's just nothing was projected. In fact, it was almost like the projector had turned off. I only tried it with my OnePlus, so perhaps it's the phone rather than the projector. Anyhow, I'll stick with the streaming stick. It's a decent little projector. Links in the description.